Hello, it's Jonathan Porterfield again of Eco Cars and a short video clip, it'll be very short, for a, a video of uh, this LPG Bango family we bought customers. So it's a factory approved uh, Nicholson McLaren engines system. It's rather neatly fitted behind the petrol flap is the LPG filler nozzle. It's the LX, which means we get the side opening door. It's uh, ply lined. It's seen a little bit of work, but there's a very nice sort of drawer arrangement here. Obviously where a tradesman could put various tools, etc. So that's rather nice, but that could be unbolted um, from the van should you not want to use it. Nice sturdy cage here as well. And uh, be the LX. Features. One being I oh, think it's a really good idea. Is a rechargeable torch which doubles up as a light. Also got a little power point in the corner as well. A little interior light. It's very clean. It's in a little bit of work, but uh, it's quite a unique van having that uh, Citroen approved gas system fitted. Um, Show the passenger. We've got uh, again being the LX, you get three seats in the front. Uh, so three seat belts and I believe there's Isofix in the front as well. And this central one will drop down into a table should you want to. Driver's seat is very clean, no rips or tears. Uh, someone at some point has fitted a little cradle here to hold your mobile phone which is rather neat so we'll leave that in. Uh, and CD player, I'll come to that in a moment. Another electric windows in the front as well. Registered the 10th of November 2009, so it's just come off lease. As you can see, it's very clean, ready for work. And again, let me show you the driver's seat. Very clean indeed. And I'll show you some more features. So we start the uh, LPG Berlingo with the key. At the moment there is just one key, which is a remote. Now the spare key may arrive, but at the moment there's just one key with the van. And Basically, that's the LPG switch, rather neatly fitted into one of the blank blanking plates. Um, I'll just show you the guaranteed mileage there, 56,022 miles, and the next service is due in 8,400 miles. Starts up straight away, all the warning lights go out, oil OK, and basically this switch arrangement, that means it's... Um, warming up on petrol and when that light goes out if you blip the throttle it's running on LPG and the four lights along the top denote the level in the gas tank. As with all LPG vehicles when you run out of LPG it automatically defaults back to petrol. That's the petrol gauge just leave just under a quarter of a tank of fuel. We have a trip computer on the end and basically that will tell you just flick through the various functions. 65 miles range is left on the petrol side, of course. So there's lots of functions on the uh, computer you can play with as well. Single shot CD player, FM radio, of course. Normal heat controls with recirculate. Uh, lots of storage and cubby holes. So electric one shot front electric windows. Okay. and the passenger one as well that's it and the other one comes up as well uh, it has a warning light it's lock and lock unlock all the doors five speed manual gearbox and lots of storage and cubby holes above the driver as well a couple of vanity mirrors power assisted steering uh, also fingertip controls for the hi-fi system and electrically um, operated wing mirrors as well which, which is very useful and height adjustment of the headlamp beam. So I'll just show you some documents, say so this vehicle is sold but this is for the benefit of uh, our customer and also just to show you the type of vehicle we acquire. So it's been a lease vehicle, Sandy Cliff, Sandy Cliff motor contracts, no previous keepers um, date of registration there is the 10th of November 2009, so it's just come off lease. And rather nicely, there is a service print showing all everything that's ever been done on the vehicle. 20,000 mile service intervals on these. 
so it's serviced at uh, 20,000 miles 600 at 44 and it's say due a service at 60,000 miles and interestingly enough for that new clutch at 49,000 miles front brake pads and shoes headlamps brake discs front so the normal wear and tear items for a, a well used van so it's nice to see that so it's not due a service and it's had its first MOT uh, which expires the 10th of November 2013 with no advisories. We just had a duplicate, that just mentions it being a duplicate issue certificate. So we've just also taxed it for 12 months for the customer as well. Um, there is some, also some documents pertaining to the gas system, which we'll just put down. So Nickerson McLaren is an LPG certificate, one of the last because uh, most of them are now all online so it's converted at just 192 miles by this company in Wales and there's also a guide as to how the LPG system works and some information from Nicholson McLaren engines who supply the conversion system the, the handbook for the uh, van there's a handbook here there's no service book but so we do have that service print to prove that it has had a good service history. So under the bonnet of the Belingo we've got the um, Nicholson McLaren ECU here. Oh, it's all very neatly fitted. In fact the system was actually designed for this van so you can't really see any LPG parts but there is a plate here denoting it's had LPG fitted by the Citroen approved um, system. This van is very clean, it's HPI clear of course and runs without fault. Point out any imperfections. There's some tiny scuff to the wing mirror. Lots of tread on all the tyres, with five six millimetres, and the wheel trims are all slightly scuffed. The sides are very clean. Again, this rear tyre, a oh, good five six mil on there. And again, a little bit of scuffing to the plastic wheel trim. The rear corners of the bumpers are very clean. There are no dents to the rear doors. No dents down the sides. This back tyre. Again, five six millimeters light slight scuff to the plastic trim a little tiny scuff to the wing mirror and again some more scuffs to the plastic trim uh, those discs have been replaced of course and say so again front tire good five six millimeters on that the windscreen is chip free um, front of the the Belingo it's very clean the next there's the odd tiny scuff from being really super picky to the corners, nothing major. The old tiny chip to the bonnet, little mark, and there's also a tiny, tiny mark just near the aerial where a stone is chipped. But apart from that, it's very, very clean. And uh, see in the back as well, high level brake light too. So, thanks for watching this. I hope it's been of some use, and uh, just to give you an idea of what uh, we can acquire. For customers so if you'd like to have something similar feel free to contact me via my website here at EcoCars. Thank you.